the next 30 seconds, I will talk about how you can increase your odds of success significantly by doing a few simple things. Did you know that only 17% of people are actively tracking their time? The top 1% actively track their time. Did you know that the top 1% use 75% of their time to carry out tasks scheduled in advance? Did you know that your mind is a terrible office? By batching your tasks, you can significantly enhance your productivity and reduce mistakes. So to improve your odds significantly, you just track and batch your tasks with the right system. The process that helped me was getting things done. That's GTD for short, which I have personally tested for about two decades and it works. Unfortunately, I also looked for a system that executes it, which led me to several time management apps. None of them really did the job well. So I ended up building GTD version 2 inside of Notion by enhancing the existing workflow that I built in GTD version 1 while adding on additional features. The first question I keep getting from people is, where do I start? So I will focus on that in this video. Hey guys, this is Murli from the future. To start with my GTD system, I would recommend three things. After you duplicate the template, add in the GMT offset in the information and familiarize yourself with this version number. I do updates on a periodical basis, so you may want to watch out for that. So knowing your version number might be quite important. Read the getting started guide to familiarize yourself with the system. And don't forget to pick up David Allen's Getting Things Done book and give it a read. It will accelerate your process. And now back to the main video. So what is this GTD system exactly? GTD is a simple five step system. Collect, process, organize, review and do. In collect, we just do a brain dump of what we have to do without trying to define the whole task. In process, we clarify the task embellish it with information that it is missing. In organizing, you put things where they belong, including batching tasks. In do, you actually perform those list of actions on a daily basis. But at the same time, you take out your compass from time to time in review and make sure that you're headed in the right direction. Let's focus on how you get your data into the GTD version 2 system through processes, collect and process. In this video, we are going to be focused only on tasks and not on ideas and reading, which we will pick up separately. Part of the efficiency and productivity involves having the least number of inboxes. For example, I have one inside of Notion, inside of GTD version 2. I have a physical inbox as a tray where new letters and papers come in and I have an email inbox which I clear on a daily basis. I have a bringer to handle my physical inbox and my email inbox daily inside of GTD version 2. If you are just starting off, you want to get things into the collect inbox inside of GTD. So then it goes out of your head out of post-its, out of lists, out of old databases into this inbox. Going forward, every bit of task is captured quickly into this place without worrying about completeness and language. This single step is possibly the biggest favor you can do for yourself and marks a remarkable moment to get big results. Given that you have your mobile handy, you can just capture it off your mobile or your tablet as well. At this stage, don't tick off the captured checkbox. Once you're back at your desk, review the tasks at hand and make sure that by reading the task, you can comprehend what it means. Add a reminder date, flag off if it's important or urgent, which is the green or the red flag. At this point, if you think that the thought is not worth pursuing, then you can straight away move it to the trash can by changing the flag to trash. If it's a call and you have any call details, you can add in a link here. Now you can check off the captured checkbox. If you're transferring from another database, you want to get that database into the same page as the new database. To do that, type slash link 
followed by the name of the database table so that you can mirror the database here. Ensure that in that current database, the database fields match the new GTD version 2 planner. That way, the whole process becomes as simple as a drag and drop. I call this step the process factory. In case you feel that the task is not worth doing, move it directly to trash so that you don't have to touch it anymore. If you made a mistake, you can always retrieve the trash from the review stage like this. Now you clarify things like the date and the time slot that you want to do the activity in. Sometimes the location or context is required so that you can batch similar items in one place. Example could be your desk, calls, at the office or in commute. You can define your own context to meet your own needs. In goal type, you define the life pillar where the task belongs to, like business, work, family, personal or home. You also get to define the goal status. This is particularly useful if you want to define the tasks that have not started or someday may be. Or if there is an action waiting for something else to happen. You can also define the energy from very high to easy so that you can allot the right time slot based on your energy levels at that time of the day. From a priority perspective, I like using the Eisenhower priority matrix that defines the priority based on two dimensions, urgency and importance. If the task has backlinks, then you can tick off the backlink checkbox to batch backlink based tasks separately. You can also review the call link in case you haven't entered it earlier. When you tick off processed, it goes into another sub-step in the process. You will notice that I intentionally didn't talk about the type dropdown, which was inbox. If you tick process without changing inbox, then it goes into the step called left in inbox. Here you can change the type of the task to say recurring, projects or non-recurring as the case may be to complete the step. Alternately, in case you change the type first, it will get caught in the incomplete view and you can complete the other details here. Once completed, the task record moves from process stage to organized stage and we will take this up in a subsequent video. David Allen's GTD has gained a cult following for over 20 years. To pick up the GTD version 2 system, you can go down to my website, links for which are below. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.